Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Fire Deck. Today I will build and install the first panel sections for the pedestal and I will start with a lights and stabilizer trim and fly deck door panel. The electronic hardware of the light panel will come out of this pre-made dimmer here. There are many advantages in using such a pre-built dimmer here. They are really inexpensive and if you get rid of all this plastic here, you receive a small and fully functional dimmer and you get also the potentiometer that you can build into the panel. So I will disassemble two units of these here and I will build them into my panel. The backlighting panel is held by two 15mm hex standoffs. I used the cutout from the back side of the dimmer case to mount the two dimmers to the back side of the backlight panel. I will not connect the two dimmers in this episode here because I have to do some uh, preparations before that I will need uh, to connect the dimmers and one of the dimmers has uh, cables that have to go up to the overhead panel and this won't make any sense now in this state of the building process. But I will explain you what the two dimmers will do later. By the way, if you want to know more about using those dimmers and connect them, you can watch the episode of building the center panel of the overhead and there I go into details about connecting those dimmers. So here we have the floodlight dimmer and the panel dimmer. Both dimmers will get a 12 volt connection from an external 12 volt power supply. And then here will go out two cables uh, from the floodlight uh, dimmer to the floodlight that sits up in the overhead panel. And here will go out um, the dimmed power for all the other backlightings of the pedestal. These cables will go to a PCB where all the other backlighting panels will be connected to and so I can control all the pedestal backlighting with this one dimmer here. Resin printed knobs complete the surface of the panel. Now I switched over to the stabilizer trim and fly deck door panel. For the beginning you will need a 12 position rotary switch. A big on off switch and a switch guard.
the two panels are finished. The next step will be the installation of the two panels into the pedestal box. But before I have done the configuration for the stabilizer trim and flight deck door panel. And if you want to know more about this programming, then you can watch my dedicated video where I'm going in detail into every topic of this programming. In MobiFlight, I can show you the new module I have installed under Extras and Settings and MobiFlight Modules. The only Arduino that is connected at the moment to my PC is the new Arduino J the first one for the pedestal and here you can see I have already declared six devices. The first two are the two LEDs here, the lock fail and auto unlock LED and then we have four buttons for the three states of the flight deck door and the stabilizer trim button. And so I have done the to output configuration here for the LEDs and I have done uh, four input configuration for the buttons. In ProSim every configuration can be done here under config and configuration and there in the combined config tab. All configuration files can be found here in the Michel Andres tab and because many configurations have found place here in this category, you should uh, use the search function. For example, when you search for door, then you will see only some configurations are left here. And there we also find the um, three switch states that I have declared. And the LEDs can be found here under indicator there. Here down we have the door auto unlock and door lock fail annunciator where I have declared an FSUAPC offset. And now it's already time to test the panel here. I have running prepared in the background for the FSUAPC communication and in MobiFlight I click run. As you can see, you see nothing because nothing changed until now and let's start to test the LEDs for, and for this we can click here onto the LEDs or the annunciators here in pros and displays. The lock fail is lighting up and the auto unlock is lighting up too. Now the switches here, you can see the stabilizer trim switch is opened and the switch is in the override position. And when we close the guard, then it should go to the normal position. And so does the switch here in our software. And now let's test the flight deck door. It is on auto and go to unlock. There we are, unlock, auto again and deny, works too. So the panel is working and we finally can install our first panels into the pedestal box. So when these blank plates are painted, then they will be installed now here into the pedestal and cover every section that won't be covered with a panel. This time I will use rear screws to fix these plates on the pedestal and not glue them, which I have done in my overhead panel, because I want to have the option to change my mind when I want to replace some of the sections by panels or by any other components that I could install here. So here are the new panels installed on their final places 
and the pedestal already is looking really populated with uh, all these blank plates here. So I think this will motivate me more to build new sections for the pedestal. And if you want to know more about making things for your home cockpit, then for example, watch one of my live streams where I explain in detail how to design such a doorknob in Fusion 360. And if you want to build these panels at home for your own home cockpit, then you will find, like always, a complete set of files to cut out and engrave these panels as well as the 3D print files for all the knobs I have used as a download in the member section of my website. So now I have to move on to the next panel section. And if you don't want to miss this upcoming episode, then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we will see us soon back on the flight deck.